Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming and welcome to our latest video. Today we have an army showcase for you. Uh, a brand new army for me and a brand new army for the channel. And uh, if you watch the live broadcast, you'll know that that is a Drukhari army. So I've been a big fan of Drukhari for quite some time now. Um, back in the day when they were Dark Eldar, I loved them. Uh, I faced them. When I first got back into this hobby down at one of the Games Workshops, I faced an army of them and they were just like, wow, these are really cool, actually. I like these. I like the idea of the combat drugs back in the day when you had to roll for them and, and, and stuff like that. And it was great fun to play against. And uh, reading up on their background fluff of them coming screaming out of the warp and being pirates, I just really like the idea of them. So it's been a, it's been a while, but I've always wanted to collect an army of Jukari, and I now have. Um, it's a starting point. It's, uh, it's nowhere near ready yet. I'll be able to get it on the channel in a small um, format small points game just to get used to the rules and all that kind of stuff and hopefully be able to uh, show a battle report very soon with these guys in um, but a massive massive thank you to Al and AD at Frank and Plasma who very kindly offered to paint these up for me so they've been away they've been painted up and they are now back with me and not only have they very kindly offered to paint up my Jakari they have very kindly offered 20% discount on any commissions that you guys out there want to do through them so there is a code and a link to their website which i'll put in the description below if you're interested and you like the look of their work then check and check them out use the code get 20 percent discount off their commission painting so should we go and have a look at the new army so this is my jukari army as it is at the moment i've got some calabites got some raiders got some reavers and Archons and Homunculi, all very nicely all painted up now, ready to go onto the battlefield. This side is. I'm going to go with a battalion detachment, I think, and then attach a patrol detachment uh, to get some of the other cults in there and, uh, and obviously use these guys as well. Let's take a closer look at some of these miniatures. Okay, so let's go into HQ. I have two Archons, both with splinter pistols and a husk blade. So this is the first of the Archon, really nice detail. I love the skin cloak there on the back and the husk blade as well has been done really nice. These guys, Frank Plasma have done an amazing job on these miniatures, absolutely love them. Um, second of the Archons is here. Obviously no helmet on this guy, but exactly the same loadout. Again, the skin cloak, all looking very cool really impressed actually it's a paint scheme that i should be able to copy uh, hopefully quite closely uh, i'm nowhere near as good as these guys but hopefully i'll be able to uh, get them looking similar when i start added to them so let's head into troops let's go into the calabites uh, so there's three squads of 10 uh, most of them have the splinter rifles but two of them have blasters in every squad just to get that extra oomph one of the cerebites has a agonizer weapon and the other two have power swords let's have a look because this is one of them with power sword really nice touches of uh, blue on there they look really dark but then when you look at them they've got this blue and gorgeous neon colors on the blade as well again skin cloth coming down from the armor that's one. and we'll go into the splinter rifles Again, that neon colour on the rifle looking good, that, that blue, that very dark blue there, absolutely lovely. And then obviously there's two, two in blasters here. And then obviously it's the same loadout for every squad, but obviously we have one of the uh, Cerebites that's got the Agonizer, which is here. Again, that neon scheme following all the way through, including on the hair and on the cloth at the back. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we'll have a look at the, one of the reavers next. If I pick this reaver up, just pop it off its stand. Again, it's that subtle blue all across the edges here and then the neon colours even on the saddle there. And then obviously they've got this beautiful green neon going through the helmet as well and the skulls and everything else on them and then touches of silver and brass on the bottom i've got uh, nine of these which is 
interesting and it's going to be interesting to see how these guys work. I've heard mixed reviews about these. I was talking to some friends of mine recently who collect Dark Elder, sorry, Jakari. And uh, they were like, these these aren't so good, but I'm, I'm, I want to get these on. I do want to get these on. And I have faced an army with quite a few of these. And they hurt. They come up really damn quick and get into combat and, and can hurt you. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting these on. But obviously I need to have a witch cult for them. Um, I do have another HQ choice, which is homunculus. Um, getting some amazing work on this guy. The skin colour on this is very grey, but with touches of blue in there. Same details on the skin cloak, and then all of the the pots and jars, including on the place on the blaster at the back, it looks absolutely amazing. And the touch of red just flicking through his hair there, and then obviously the needle as well looks absolutely brilliant. I'm really happy how these guys have turned out, especially like his kind of um, tail almost that comes down. It just changes from that blue into a purple colour as it heads down towards the ground. Lovely job on these. Uh, and then obviously I've got three raiders. The crews aren't on these really. Um, so they're, they're there for me to glue together. They kept a lot of these pieces off. So the sails and the spikes and the flags at the back and a lot of the crew members, they're all off because it made it easy for transportation so I can glue them all together. So let's have a look at the first of the raiders. These, these guys have not got the crews on. A lot of these pieces are separate just so it made it easier for transportation. And it's down to me to kind of glue them all on. But again, that blue very dark colour and then just highlighted with blues and an airbrush that way and then obviously this neon colour extending all through the flags and the sail and the rudder at the back and then you've got this bone white control panel with hints of yellow and you've got the blasters at the front and then the spikes the trophy spikes there so I'm gonna add all the crews on get all these glued together because um, yeah I just think it might be easier but then again, I'm thinking about taking these to a tournament at some point. Um, so maybe it might be easier to leave everything off for transportation point of view. Um, so that is the Drakari army as it is at the moment. Like I said, it's it's work in progress. It's a, it's a really awesome start point. Be able to get them on the channel in little skirmish games. Might even be able to use them for a kill team, maybe and use some of these Calibites. So that would be interesting to see. But I really want to get these raiders on. Um, Maybe experiment and see what uh, dark lances are like because I know that I face dark lances and whoa boy they're horrible. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot to paint up actually. So I know I've got some hellions to paint up. Well, I've actually got some hellions to build and do, and I've also got and these guys are obviously just blank. I've got five venoms to do as well. Um, obviously, they've just been built and undercoated, which is how I I brought the army off a friend of mine. Um, a lot of these are already pre-built, so they just need they just need painting now. Um, but I could change these and do these maybe for my witch cult change the colour scheme on them, the same as, but I need to kind of get my head around how, how all of these work. I've also got to paint up Scourges, again, built, undercoated, ready to paint. I've got 10 of these to do. So these obviously get towards the Witch Court, I believe. I'm right on that, I think. Um, yeah, so these guys will be all, or girls will be all painted up, ready to go and scream into the battlefield and hopefully lay waste to lots of things. I've also have got some grotesques to do as well. Um, and these guys aren't actually undercoated yet, so just plain ordinary gray grotesques. Um, and also some conversions of grotesques as well, which I'll just quickly show you. So, so this guy um, has been converted up to be a grotesque, quite like the look of him. Um, so hopefully get him painted up as well. Nice base on there, nice different head on there. Quite cool, I quite like that. So that'll be my Jakari army when it's ready to go and everything's all painted up. I've probably got more to build as well that, that's still in the box on sprues. Uh, I'm thinking going along the lines of witch cult for patrol attachment and then obviously with the homunculus and the grotesques going down that route for, for the, another patrol detachment so I can flip between the between two of them really. I'm thinking about going the black heart route for the, um, the main battalion detachment. Um, just because I quite like the idea of them and uh, I think their buffs are quite nice as well. And obviously most of these weapons are all poison weapons, so you wound on twos. Um, I've, when you get into combat with these guys there, they are nasty. But I really, really like the blue and the neon look that the guys at Frank and Plasma have done. I think it's absolutely fantastic and I'm really, really, really grateful to them uh, for doing that for me. So thanks for watching guys. Any advice for a new Jakari player out there? Um, 
you know, what should I get next? What should I do? I've got obviously got quite a few bits and bobs in the box that I need to paint up, but what can I add to the army to make it make it tough? If I was to take it to a tournament, how should I tailor this? I know I've watched a review video that said take three patrol detachments, but I've been kind of um, swayed away from that a little bit. So take three different, of uh, one of each for the patrol attachment, so you, you gain all of the buffs. Um, do I go down that route or not? I don't know. Is the short answer. Like I said, I'm new to this Drakari um, army list, so I'm still learning my way through it. I think this is probably a good place to start for a battle report with the Archons and then the Calabites and the Raiders because I think that'll be helpful. I could even go non battle forged and, and then take the Reavers in a game so I can see what they're like, but I lose out on three command points if I do that, but it's an option. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting these on the channel. Don't forget, you can get 20% discount uh, on commission paintwork at Frank Plasma if you use the code and the uh, website will be in the description below. So thanks for watching guys. Please leave me your advice and any tips for Jakari out there and don't play them their OP. It's an option, but it's not going to happen. Uh, so yes, thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.